Myth number three, evidence is not strict. Although on a small claims track, you are only obliged to disclose evidence you intend to rely on at the small claims hearing. Nevertheless, the same rules of evidence apply as they do any other track. Let's quickly run through the basics. Now, witness statements must include the following items. Number one, start with the name of the case and claim number. Item two, state the full name and address of the witness. Three, set out the witness's evidence clearly in numbered paragraphs on numbered pages. Item four, end with this paragraph. I believe that the facts in this witness statement are true. And item five, ensure that the witness statement is signed by the witness and dated. Second basic rule of evidence applicable. If a witness cannot attend court, they must provide a hearsay notice in their witness statement. Number three, if expert evidence is permissible, it must be prepared by an expert witness in satisfaction of civil procedural rules on expert evidence. Number four, if photographic evidence is not disclosed as part of a witness statement or expert witness report, subject to notice provisions as prescribed by the civil procedural rules, the court may consider the evidence as inadmissible. Accordingly, it is advised photographic evidence or other evidence be exhibited to a witness statement, if it's a witness per se or an expert witness report. The fifth basic rule of evidence. If you do not file and serve evidence by the time ordered by the court, the judge may consider the evidence as inadmissible at the hearing.